Hi guys, it's your girl Napisha09, aka Nicely Created, and I really apologize that I have been gone from YouTube for so long. I've been so busy and ooh, life has been coming at me in a rush, but I am back today and here I am. So today I am going to talk about my new journey that I've decided to take. Yeah, I'm always on some kind of journey. I know. But I remember a couple of years ago when I was on my weight loss journey, which by the way, I am still on restarting again, but we're not going to talk about that one yet. But um, I did start a journey to try to remove stretch marks. And um, I had bought this kit from a lady online. I can't remember exactly the name of it or the site. But uh, I had got a lot of questions about the stretch marks, did it work, yada, yada, yada. At the time, I was more into losing weight than I was thinking about, you know, the actual toning and stuff of my skin. But um, since that time, I've gotten divorced. I've had, it, my, I've had two deaths in the family. I've relocated to another city. I've had another job. If you see my hair, my hair has grown like a foot since then, but I was looking through some of my stuff and watching some YouTube videos because like I said, I am on another weight loss journey because I have gained almost all of the weight that I lost and I got to get this weight off of me. I worked too hard to get it off, not to, not to um, keep it off or not to, you know, try to get back on that journey. But anyway, I'm off subject. I've decided again that on this weight loss journey, okay, so also, since I decided to waist train, I was like, you know, why not go ahead and do my stretch mark journey at the same time since I'm going to be wearing my wa my waist trainer most of the day. So, I am not corset training as of yet. I want to wait until I reach my goal weight of about 165 pounds before I start corset training. So I decided that I wanted to waist train and the um, the waist fodger I decided to get was by Swing. And it is a, I guess, cincher. It's not a corset, don't mistake it with a corset. But um, let's see. I don't know what the other word is. A lot of people say waist trainer, so that's the word I'm going to stick with. So, I got this one for Swing. And it is the Swing Perfect Waist. And I got mine in a small. And the reason that I chose to get it in a small is because I tried on my sister's medium. And it fits. It's snug, but I'm already at the second Sorry, I'm already at the second row on the medium and I have changed my eating habits and I'm incorporating exercise. I'm actively trying to lose weight. So I know if I stick with that medium, it's, I'm going to have to have another one soon. So I got the small. And when I tell you, this joker takes a lot of work for me to hook up. Oh my God. So I use it in the first row for right now. Because I just got it today and I put it on and oh, I thought I was going to die. But once it's on, I have found that um, I'm not as gassy. And I don't know. It feels good on. It's tight. And you have to, you know, pretty much watch what you're doing a little bit. But it's not... It, it does have a little give, so it's not a corset. And I will be doing the, um, I can't remember the name of the lady that I got this kit from. I know her name was John. I guess I'll have to go look through my old videos to uh, find out um, what her name was that sold me the kit to um, do the stretch mark thing. But I remember the steps, and pretty much you're going to exfoliate the skin. Uh, you're going to soak your skin to get it uh, wet. You're going to exfoliate it. You're going to add oils and you want to get that tight. And so I will be doing that. And we're going to see how everything turns out. So I'm just going to show you guys how I look with my waist trainer off. 
and how I look with it on. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna put it on for you and let you see how bad I struggle to get this on. Are you ready? Okay. So this is how I look right now. Yes, I gained a lot of weight. Uh, I hate it. And I don't know if you can see my stretch marks, but I have really bad stretch marks. And the skin, let's go a little bit lower. I don't want to go too lower because I'm in my son's bathroom and I never clean it up. But um, the skin at the bottom part of my stomach is like really loose from after I had my after I had my son. So okay, so the tag side goes up, and I I start from the bottom putting mine on, and what I do is I go ahead and suck in and start hooking. And this is going to take a while and a lot of effort. <laughs> it sucks in everything. You know, you you see people, the celebrities, and you look at their slim figures and they'll be thick with no bumps or lumps in their little tight dresses. And you're like, wow. Why does my body not look like that? I have stuff hanging over the side and poking out. Because they're wearing one of these. And actually, y'all, I'm getting this on a lot easier this go round. But, whew, I'm tired. As you can see, it sucks in everything. And so, this is my waist trainer. Gotta catch your breath after you put it on though. Uh, if you don't want to, like I, I got a size smaller than I'm supposed to get. My waist is 33 inches at the smallest point. But, uh, hold on, this isn't high enough. Can you see me? Let me back up. Okay, my waist is 33 inches at the smallest point on a good day when I'm not gassy. And so, actually, I'm supposed to be in a medium. But like I said, I don't plan on staying this size. I am actively trying to lose weight. And so, looking at this, it's saying that it's supposed to reduce the waistline. It lifts up the breast. I don't know about all that because my breast ain't going nowhere up. It alleviates back pain because it actually helps with your posture. Um, it's, it assists in weight loss because it's holding your stomach in so you're not eating as much because your stomach is not just hanging out waiting to be filled it corrects your posture and it helps like if you have a baby and you have all that extra fat and you know your uterus still needs to shrink it helps with the postpartum recovery and what I didn't know what I should have known what somebody should have told me is that if I had my son and I would put on a girdle my skin might have, you know, bounced back a little bit better. But it's also supposed to increase your metabolism and everything. Let me read this. Squim's intelligent fabric technology consists of a material made of a unique mix of triple filter cotton and natural rubber fused. Triple filter cotton and natural rubber, fu rubber fused into a thin single layer compressive fabric designed to offer superior shaping results and to help you lose weight by improving your your metabolism. And so I guess if you suck your stomach in all the time, you're actually engaging those muscles. And so that actually helps too. So we will see. I've shown you my stretch marks. And let me show you the things I'm going to be using to help um, with those. I have this exfoliating rag. Um, I used to have a mitt. But when I moved, I don't know if I threw it out or what. I have... Uh, St. Ives um, apricot scrub to help exfoliate the skin and you know once you get that all rubbed in you also go through with this to help um, I guess it helps awaken the cells in your stomach and then after that um, I have a healing cream that I actually bought with the kit and I pretty much never used it I've used it like two or three times and I got me some vitamin E oil and so vitamin E oil is really good for your skin. It helps with elasticity. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And after I put all that on, I'll be putting on my waist trainer to try to suck it all in and help it all heal up. 
and so that is the end of this video uh, I'm gonna have to edit it even if I want to so that's the end and I will be bringing you probably just picture updates every so often I'm gonna try to stay on it this time and if it works I will most definitely you know to uh, recommend the company or whatever so We'll see. But for now, bye.